start the episode. Salutation Raider Nation, I'm Devin Dagnall and this is your Black Raider News. Devin Dagnall, you're needed in the main office for a message. Devin Dagnall, to the main office please. Thank you. Nation of Raiders, salutations. I'm Mr. La Chapelle, an English teacher and also the advisor to the Winslow High School yearbook. On a side note, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here because I love working with a majority of students. I bet I could name five students in this school that I like. Not bad, huh? I mean, would you rather have five dollars or no dollars? Let's get right into our first segment. We're going to head over to the teacher's room where Ms. Billings is working on a staff craft. Enjoy. This is Mrs. Billings, AKA the elderly art teacher, and this is Staff Crafts. Today's dream goal vision is tie-dye t-shirts. This is just the starting point for what you can achieve and accomplish in this wonderful lesson. All right, you will need the following. A white t-shirt, gloves, that's a must. Fabric dye, usually Procyon. That's the stuff that lasts the best salt because that's sort of a, a way to work the dye into the fabric, plastic squeezy bottles, those are a lot of fun, rubber bands and plastic bags. The last thing you're going to need is a large bowl of bucket. Hi, this is Lori Loftus and, oh wait, start over, start over. Hi, this is Lori Loftus coming to you with Black Raider News, um, and I'm here with a couple of our members of our faculty all-star te unified team. Um, so we have a couple questions for these guys. They just took on our unified basketball team, and for the second year in a row, took the loss. Guys, what do you think happened this year? Uh, mostly bad refing. Um, that's what I would say. I mean, uh, Beckwith really, uh, she. Uh, she couldn't see the plays. She really favored the other team. Pathetic, really. Pathetic. Uh, I can't say enough about the, some of the excuses that we're hearing around the hallways of all three schools. Um, the elementary school is saying that Mike Sandoval just didn't show up. And unfortunately, uh, we heard that in a kindergarten versus staff dodgeball game, our star scorer, Mr. Kyle Price, hurt his shoulder real bad. And so having him on the bench for that game really set us back. Mm, mm. I think it was a cover-up. I don't think Kyle Price was injured at all. I think he was just too scared to play against us. Thoughts? Where are you getting that information? Quote your sources. Thoughts? Uh, I, I probably shouldn't have brought his name up. I, I don't like the, the idea of gossiping and the rumor mill. But here in Winslow, we do take basketball seriously. And all I need to say is next year, the unified team better watch out. My mother would have been proud because I scored two baskets, Mom. My mother was proud of my coaching, Mom. Well, that's nice. Thank you guys uh, for playing against us or attempting to play against our team this year. Uh, and I don't know. That's it. The Shine On Cast Junior Service Award first started in 2015 at Mesolonsky High now includes recognition of outstanding students in surrounding local high schools. Beginning in 2018, this award is now presented annually to a junior at Winslow High who best emulates Cassidy Charette's genuine kindness, exceptional community and school service, and compassion and selfless concern for others. 
Candidates may be nominated by a parent, teacher, guidance counselor, or community organization. Students are also encouraged to nominate themselves. Deadline for applications is Friday, May 18th. And see guidance for more information. Shine on, Cass. I've been told I need to make a correction. Five students, we'll stick with that. It's probably closer to four that I actually like. Let's pretend it's five. What I didn't know is that the Black Raider News crew is currently occupied, and that's why I'm here. Let's see what's happening. The Raider News. Seems to me you asked me a question about Shakespeare in which I was cut off. May I? Is it okay if I begin where I left off? You would ask me about the importance of Shakespeare in our lives, in, your, in the classroom. Why, you know, Shakespeare lives on 400 years later. It's, he's that important. Why, I bet that I could just ask any faculty member in the school who is walking by in the hallways to mm, explain their passion for Shakespeare. Let's just check. Oh, there's Miss Souvenir. Let's check with her. Miss Souvenir. Hello, Mr. Pelletier. Why, Miss Souvenir, do you remember studying Shakespeare in high school? Why, yes, Mr. Pelletier, I do. And what class was that in? It was in Honors English with Mr. Lessard. Did Mr. Lessard, like I do in my classes, force you to memorize any extended passages of Shakespeare? Why, yes, he did in ninth grade from Taming of the Shrew. Was it Catherine's speech at the end of the play? Yes, it was, Mr. Pelletier. Do you still remember it? Of course I do. Why do you think I carry this podium around with me? Roll them. Fie, fie, unknit this threatening unkind brow and dot not scornful glances from those eyes to wound thy lord, thy key, thy governor. It blots thy beauty as frosts do bite the meads, confounds thy fame as whirlwinds shake fair buds, and in no sense is meek or amiable. A woman moved is like a fountain troubled, muddy, ill-seeming, thick, bereft of beauty, and while it is so, none so dry or thirsty would deign to sip or touch one drop of it. <laughs> that was beautiful. I'm just tearing up here. Wow. Let's go check in with Mr. Oliphant, who's visiting some cribs. Hey, Black Raider News. We're here for another episode of Cribs, and we're going to talk to Mr. Wickman. Hey, Black Raider News. We're here. I'm Mr. Oliphant, and we're going to go to another episode of Cribs, and we're going to talk to Mr. Goldsmith. Okay, uh, lights on. I think... I see him in there. This is going to work. Okay. Hey, Black Raider News. This is Mr. Oliphant. We're here to talk to Mr. Keenan today for another episode of Crip. Hey. Are you guys kidding me? It's a Friday afternoon. Get out of here. <laughs> 